This is Tourist Trap on our 31 spooky movies of Halloween. Are you scared of mannequins? If you are, you should probably think twice about watching Tourist Trap. And if you're not afraid of mannequins, you should probably think twice before watching Tourist Trap because it is really bad. But if it's bad, why did you watch it? When I watch movies for my 31 spooky movies of Halloween, I come across them by either going down rabbit holes on Tubi or having people like you suggest them to me or finding lists of criminally underrated horror movies that very few people have ever heard of. That's how I came across Tourist Trap. It was a criminally underrated movie that no one had ever heard of, at least as far as this list said. And now I'm beginning to wonder who wrote this list because obviously there's something wrong with them. Tourist Trap is a classic example of 70s trash horror. A simple premise stretched out over 90 minutes, even though it really only had legs for 45. In it, a group of young people come across a rundown wax museum tourist trap uh, uh, he said it, he said it. in the middle of nowhere, run by a creepy old man who invites them to stay when they get into a bit of car trouble. But as the night wears on, it becomes more than obvious that something is rotten at the old wax museum. The absolute jewel of this movie is the legendary Western star Chuck Connors of the Rifleman playing in this bargain basement schlock fest. At least, he looks like he's having a good time despite the fact that he gives an unironically bad performance. Who knows? Maybe he needed the money. I mean, we've all been there. But the presence of a largely uncommitted Chuck Connors leads to many unintentional moments of sheer hilarity, including a couple of idiot kids trying to figure out the identity of a masked killer with Chuck Connors' voice. Gee, I wonder who the killer might be. And man, are the victims in this movie stupid. Which is good because the villain in this movie is stupid, and the script is stupid, and the movie is stupid, and I was stupid for watching it. Tourist Trap is the kind of movie that other movies have been making fun of for years. A turkey stuffed full of cliches and dialogue that is far too wordy that it has the capability to support its absolutely eye-rolling stuff. Now, there are a couple of good jump scares and a few of the mannequins look somewhat disturbing, even though the movie keeps calling them wax dummies. But they're not wax dummies, they're obviously mannequins. Why does this movie not know the difference between a wax dummy and a mannequin? Will somebody please explain that to me? So Tourist Trap is, uh, it's bad. It's not even bad enough to be good, it's just bad. It's a plotting, petrified pile of stereotypes, moronic characters, and an insane shoestring of a plot. All of this I could excuse if the movie was even a little bit interesting, but it's not. It's just boring, stupefyingly boring. Even if you're a gore hound with low standards looking for some interesting kills or splattering body parts, you're going to be disappointed because Tourist Trap is rated PG, which makes this movie about as cutting and daring as a Disney Channel original movie. I understand that some people see this as a classic, and I would say that I understand why, but I don't. What is the appeal here? Explain it to me, slowly. Use tiny words, use sock puppets. Make me get why you think this movie is anything other than a steaming pile of who knows. Maybe you'll like it more than I did because I certainly couldn't have liked it less. And if you did, you can add it to your list of 31 spooky movies of Halloween because I won't. <laughs>